Hello, welcome back. So in this video, I would like to demonstrate how to do the development of an octahedron. Development is done basically for producing things like a box, for example. So we need to learn the development of solid so that this kind of box can be made with the minimum amount of material. So for example, if I have to make this kind of cuboid, then I should start with sheet of metal. For example, if it was made of metal, I have to start with sheet of metal. So which will be something like this. Here we are experimenting with the paper. On this sheet of metal, we have to draw in such a way that by folding that kind of shape, we can make a cuboid like this. And it should have all the surfaces as well as it should have some allowance for joining like this. Here we have to join the two surfaces. On this surface we have to do the bending. So we should make the allowance for all the dimensions such that we can make a box like this. Another thing we should take into account is that we should cut this sheet of metal or paper such that the, we need the minimum amount of joining operation because each joining operation will cost money. So for example, if this can be made by just bending, it is much cheaper than by making it by welding. So if I was going to cut four surfaces like this and then weld them together, then it will be much more expensive and it will require much more finishing operations and also it will not be as strong or as durable as this surface because here we have done the bending operation. All these things are taken into account so that we can produce an object with the minimum amount of material and with the minimum number of steps that means manufacturing steps so that the cost the overall cost will be reduced that is called development. So for example if this is a cuboid so we should learn the development of cuboid. So on the same concept, I'm going to show you the development of an octahedron. In previous video, I showed you this octahedron. So this has eight surfaces, one, two, or rather eight faces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are eight faces and these edges. So this how can we start with a plain sheet of paper or a metal and how can we cut in such a way that we can bend this sheet of metal or paper into a octahedron with the minimum amount of joining steps or manufacturing steps so that this is the most optimum. So here I will show you how we can develop a, an octahedron. So we will draw the development of octahedron here and in the last video I showed you this octahedron so it has got eight faces so we will draw this in such a way that after folding the developed octahedron we can make a solid octahedron like this start with a line here so we have to draw such that we will draw a octahedron of sides each face will be 50 millimeter so just make sure that we can make three triangles here. So so this much space we need at least. So we should have enough space one, two and three. So in this start from here, so start with a length of a line which is three times the length of each side. So five centimeter means we will draw a line of 15 centimeter. And here we have to make equilateral triangles of 50 
millimeter side. So we will connect these points to make these triangles. And then join these points. So as you can see, now we have got one, two, three, four, five. Five triangles, uh, equilateral triangles. So these are going to become the faces. So five, but we need eight. So we will add one more triangle here, one here and one here. So use the same distance or same length and we will make one triangle there, one triangle here, and one triangle here. That's all we have to remember. So first we make this kind of five triangles and then we make one, two, three additional. So that makes eight. So this is our developed octahedron. Now let's see if it really works. So what we should do is we should cut this and try to make octahedron. So for cutting, you have to basically cut the outer along the outer lines. So this is what we have developed as I was talking about the wastage of materials. So for example, in this case, you can see that this is a complete wastage of material. So if we know exact development, so we should start with a material which is almost close to the developed shape so that the wastage of the material will be less because in the industrial practice, we should avoid any wastage of material because material wastage means cost. So both we have to uh, avoid wastage of material and more number of manufacturing steps. So for this purpose, we have developed this octahedron like this on a flat surface. So if we, if we try to bend all these lines and we should be able to make an octahedron using this. So always bend inward. And after bending, you can try to assemble them together and basically in this way. So this solid shape is octahedron. So here I will use this cellophane tape
So we have made this octahedron starting with a flat surface. Don't worry about these lines. These lines come from earlier use of this sheet. So by developing the octahedron in the way I have shown you, you can make a solid octahedron like this. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you have any comment or question, please do write them down below in the comment section. Thank you.